Yes, yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Get the pump. Yes, the pump. Come on. Yes, sir. The pump. Yes, sir. The pump. Yes, sir. The pump. Yes, sir. The What's up, guys? Con King coming back to you with another non-spoiler uh, manga review of Berserk within the Conviction arc. Today, we will be talking about the Binding Chain chapters. So, this is the second uh, story within the Conviction arc, the second act, I guess you would say, within this three-act structure. And um, I mean, what can I say? It's Berserk. It's Kintaro. It's fantastic. I really like this. Um, I would say when it comes to my favorite. Uh, it, it goes for conviction arc. I think the arc as a whole, it's I mean, it's fantastic. It's really strong for me. It goes the uh, Lost Children or the Lost Children's the first. This is second, the Binding Chains, and then the the last part is um the uh, per, uh the birth ceremony chapter is my least favorite. That's the conclusion of the conviction arc. It's still fantastic, but these two are definitely my favorite. Um, yeah, the Binding Chain arc is def is the story that. I, I would say this is the story uh, post Golden Age that within Berserk that introduces starts to introduce a lot of the main key players that or you know key characters that will come to play within you know the later parts of Berserk and the greater aspects of the story, especially the war leading to the um, uh, Falcon of Millennium arc, uh, the whole uh, the uh, Empire War chapter, right and. Um, and this is the story that starts to introduce a lot of those characters. And without to spoil it, after the events of the Golden Age, there's this army uh, that's called the Holy Sea. That remember what I mentioned before? The kind of uh, the uh, I guess you could say me medieval Europe world of Berserk, the Empire and uh, country of Midland. This is kind of one of their armies, the Holy Sea. It's the army of knights that preserves their uh, religion within the Empire of Midland. And the commander of this um, of this army is Lady Farnese. And there's two other characters, like Asana and I, her right-hand guy. The um, dude has got kind of like a frat haircut or whatever, I guess to say. Not my type. <laughs> but uh, it definitely starts at, uh, this is the, definitely the story that introduces a lot of key players within the, uh, you know, key acts to come within Berserk. And she's kind of the main antagonist of the story. And this is... This is probably this this story this um, act within the conviction arc definitely has some of the most iconic moments post golden age in Berserk. There's some grotesque stuff in the story. It's awesome. This this probably in my opinion this is probably the most metal. This this is the most metal as fuck story within the conviction arc. I mean it's awesome. It's crazy. This is this is it gets insanely insanely dark within the story. You know you know kind of in the golden age. You know Kintaro. You, he builds up all this hope. Hope takes it away from you. Lost children. It's dark. It's bleak. You build up hope at the end. And in this story, it still has a good ending relatively for, for Guts and Puck, the main two characters. I can say for, you know, other people. But um, it's, uh, it just gets, it's just, he, he, he throws it back in your face, man. It gets, it gets, I mean, it's, it's metal as fuck. Like I said, it's crazy. I absolutely love it. Um, another thing I, I like to say is this is also... It, I mean, like, like Berserk, you know, all the chapters, the art just progresses. It gets better. It's just amazing. And this story sets up a lot of stuff that comes pl to play later on the story. You know, as I mentioned before, art squads, as you can see, the Conviction Arc Holy Binding Chain chapters take place just within the Deluxe Edition Volume Six. So you can see the spine. Here's the sick six. If I can tell you, Muru, Deluxe Edition. Very nice. Yeah, the thing, the second act of the Conviction Arc takes place just within this vault. But yeah, this is by far the shortest story and part of the Conviction Arc. It's still fantastic. The art is amazing. The character development is fantastic. The, the new characters Kintaro introduces are also great. And yeah, guys, this definitely gets a this definitely gets a bump. Highly recommend. It's berserk. What can I say? It's phenomenal. But this is a uh, highly recommend. Get the pump. Comic King signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get the pump. Get the pump. Come on, get strong. Mm -hmm.